Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm in my hometown of Chennai right now and we're going to be eating some amazing vegan food at a fully vegan restaurant, The Viridian Plate. Okay guys, welcome back. We're at one of my most favorite vegan restaurants here in Chennai. Actually, I must say right now, this is the only vegan restaurant in Chennai, but it has amazing food. As you can see, I'm surrounded by some freshly made, wonderful, and yes, everything you see here on this table is in fact vegan. From the soups, to the sweets, to the tandoori-like items you see in front, all of this is completely vegan. I'm gonna taste this right now and explain to you guys what I think about it. So without further ado, let's just get to the food tasting. Now this soup, is known as a laksa. It's actually a Malaysian dish, has some noodles in it. It has also, I think, coconut milk, some tofu, vegetables, and it should be quite spicy. Let's have a taste. Mm. I think it could use a little bit more spice. Now, obviously, you guys didn't come for the soup. You want to see the other items. And here's one item I've been eating here very often, and I really love it, and it's called as stuffed cheese balls. So basically these are like these small nuggets or balls, you can call them, but inside they have cheese and it's vegan cheese. So dip in some sauce. Mmm. Oh, this is really good. The cheese is really, really good. Oh. Okay guys, we're gonna try another food right now. This is quite new for me. And I'm really excited to try this. You can see it looks like a nice full tandoori item. It's called as Jimami tofu, I was told, grilled jimami tofu. Let me have a taste. The tandoori flavor is there in it and the tofu is quite different. I was told that this is not actually soybean based tofu. It is peanut tofu. It's actually much softer than I expected. It doesn't actually carry much of a peanut fragrance. Now, I want to show you guys another dish here that I'm a really big fan of and that is the jackfruit biryani so instead of using meat they use jackfruit it's not necessarily intended to be a meat substitute you can say it's just a unique way of presenting biryani now i really love this first we'll have a spoon of the biryani mm. the biryani is absolutely perfect i really really love the biryani oh it's so good and of course we have here a nice large piece of the jackfruit. I don't know about others, but I really like this. It has this unique taste to it. It's not necessarily meaty per se. They're not going for a meaty texture. It's more so of its own unique taste, unique flavor. Some raita that's made obviously from vegan, I'm guessing probably peanut curd or soy milk. I don't know exactly which one. Hmm. You can't go wrong with this combination. The jackfruit biryani gets my fullest recommendation. It's really, really good. So now we have another starter dish. This is chettinad pepper tofu. Quite interested to try this. It looks really good. It looks kind of like a meat dish, doesn't it? I can smell the pepper. Having eaten meat in the past, I can let you know this does smell like a meat dish when it looks like one. Nice, it's not actually as spicy as I thought it would be. It has the masala and the flavorings that one would usually put in a meat dish, a meat side dish, but it's not meat. It's the side, it's the masala and flavorings that are coating the tofu. And instead of meat, they've used tofu instead. It's really good. Now for our next dish, we have an Alfredo pasta. As you guys know, this is supposed to be made of cheese and dairy products, but they're doing it without that. Let's have a taste. And now let's try another pasta they have. I wanted to try their spinach pesto pasta. 
So let's give that a shot. It's completely green in color. This one's definitely a bit more flavorful than the previous one. It's a bit more, I'd say when compared to the other pasta, this one has a bit more flavor and push and power behind it. We are now going to move on to another dish that I really, really like eating here. This is what I order usually. And that is just plain roti with their signature, I believe this is their tofu butter masala. It has, watch this, look at this guys. It looks like there's a coating of butter on top of it, if you can see. So they use plant-based vegan butter and instead of paneer, obviously they've used tofu. Now let's just try a small bit of this gravy. Mmm. This is amazing. Just as amazing as I remember to be last time. Oh my god, so good. Wow. This, again, I would even recommend get a biryani, get this, get some roti. You cannot go wrong. These three are seriously amazing. So apart from chapati, they also have different kinds of parotas on their menu, you can check out. We have ordered the chili cheese parota and also the veg keema parota. Let's just try them by themselves first and then eat them with some side dish and see how they go. So first the veg keema, I'm quite curious to see how this one tastes. As you can see, there's other vegetables and other things stuffed inside. Mm. This is good. Cheese parota. I would say this is better. The cheese, you can taste. You can taste the butter, the fat. This one's really good. Now we have a few more side dishes to try it out with a few more gravies. So we'll keep the paneer butter masala, the tofu butter masala aside for now. And we have here with us two more gravies. So this guys is our Navaratnam Kurma and Navaratnam Kurma has a total of 9 ingredients. It's a combination of vegetables and fruits and some nuts. I'm curious to see how that will taste, might taste a bit sweet. And this is the Dahi Alu. It's the usual Dahi Alu but instead of actually using curd that comes from cow's milk, they have used peanut curd. So let's try a little bit of them both. First time I'm trying both of these. You know, first to get an understanding of how it tastes, I'm going to take a little bit of plain chapati. Okay, let's see. It's a bit... New to me, I guess, because the kurma is a bit sweet. It's a mix of sweet and savory. And next one, we shall try the dahi alu. Mmm, this one's really good. It's a combination of a little bit of sourness, you can taste from the curd and the alu. Dahi alu will be a good combination with the chili cheese parota. Let's just try. Oh. Okay, that's good. That is really good, guys. This chili cheese parota is really, really good. If I'm not mistaken, it's the same cheese that is found in the stuffed cheese balls. Is it? I was right. It is the same cheese. Now, Ratnam Kurma is just not my style of things. Because when I eat kurma, I expect more spiciness. This is a bit more on the sweet side. But this is dahi alu. It's really good, really flavorful. I really like it. Okay, guys, we're gonna try the next rice dish now, and that is the garlic butter rice. I've had this once before. Mmm. It's like half the dishes, I really, really like them. And the rest of them are good, but some of them I think, like I really like this chili garlic thing. This thing is really good. I think when you order and eat at the Viridian plate, try to also get a side dish with your parota or chapatis or with the rice dish you order. And the first side dish I can recommend to anybody here, if you come here, you have to eat tofu butter masala. You cannot go wrong with this. Trust me, it will blow your mind. It blows my mind. This is the 10th time I'm having it. It still blows my mind on so many levels. I know, I'm combining North Indian food with Chinese. Sue me if you want to, but you won't be tasting what I'm tasting right now. That's really good. That's really, really good. Garlic butter rice is really good, guys. Really like it. Some of you might love this. Some of you might hate this, but it's, you know, 
curd rice. So, being born in a vegetarian family, in a Brahmin family from South India, you guys know that we live off of curd rice. So I grew up eating curd rice every single day. This is curd rice made from peanut curd. In Tamil, we call this as dedyonam. What that means is basically, there is tempering done onto the curd rice with mustard seed. As you can see here, they have red chilies and everything garnished. With, you can even see a piece of carrot inside. So let's have a taste and see how it is. And trust me, I am the right person to review curd rice. Okay, open challenge to anybody here who likes eating curd rice. I dare you to come here, eat this curd rice and tell me that it doesn't taste like the curd rice you eat at home. Um, you could bring any of your friends or family members here, ask them to try this curd rice. They cannot, I swear, they cannot tell the difference. I cannot tell the difference here. This, it doesn't even taste, this is made, it doesn't even, it doesn't even smell like peanuts. I don't, it's made from peanuts and you guys know how much of a pungent odor peanuts give off, but This is really good, really, really good. Seriously, outstanding curd rice, like first class, 10 out of 10, like paneer butter masala, you cannot go wrong if you eat curd rice here. It's that good. Full marks for the curd rice. Okay guys, the first sweet here we're gonna be eating is the carrot alva. Smells amazing, let's have a taste. You can see, there's some cashews, some badam on top. Man. That's, <laughs> this is, again, it's quite stunning what vegans can do, how you cannot tell the difference, whether it's ghee here or not, like you will not be, I challenge anybody watching this video to come and try the curd rice and come and try the sweet, bring any of your vegetarian friends, the elders in your family who are, you know, always saying, oh, you vegans cannot prepare your food as delicious as we do because they cannot tell the difference with this curd rice and they will not be and forget the difference this tastes so damn good by itself so good unbelievably good honestly i can feel the richness in my mouth the nuts coming together with the carrots and it's like caramelized the the sweetness that's on top it is so good like again this sweet gets from me a 10 on 10 and finally, of course, we have the golden kheer. So let's have a taste of that as well. <laughs> I'm reacting this way because my mind is... Okay, let me try to put into words calmly what exactly is going on right now. Firstly, when you put this in your mouth, You, it's so smooth, you do not taste a single particle. Like it's, like, it's like it's one particle together that's going into your mouth. There's no single individual graininess you taste at all. It's not so sweet, it's like sickly sweet. It's just sweet enough. It's so smooth, so rich, so creamy. I don't know what's in this, but whatever's in this, this is really good. This is really, 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 really unbelievably good. Full 10 or 10 marks from me. This is really amazing. So for those of you who don't know, wherever I go to review food, I have a particular practice that I put into play and that is I will pay for the food I eat. I do not take free food to eat and that's because I am of the belief that if food is given for free, then usually a person is more or less, you can say, put in a position where they have to say only good things about the food and nothing bad. However, I pay for my food and I give an honest review and I also want the audience who's watching me to always know that what I speak is genuinely what I feel. So right now, if you come to the Viridian Plate, the, right now, the, I believe the only fully vegan restaurant hotel here in Chennai, these are the foods I, Arvind Kannan, can assure you, you will enjoy, you cannot go wrong. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please do come to the Viridian Plate and please check out these following foods. They are truly, really amazing. But we're not done yet. Up next, we're gonna be interviewing the founders and the owners of this wonderful vegan hotel and that is Mr. Shankar and Mrs. Gayatri. So I'll see you guys with them shortly.